So uh, I want to open it up now uh, to you guys. If you have any questions, I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions. Hopefully you do, or else this is going to end early. Uh, do you guys have any questions at all? I'd be happy to answer anything you have. I'll take my mug off there. Hey! Nope, never. I will never ever, okay, so other than authenticity, I would say um, ethics and principles are super, super important. I would never ever ever advertise cigarettes or anything that I personally don't believe in that compromise my morals or, that, or, or a product that I don't use. It doesn't matter how much money they offer me, they could offer me a million dollars, I wouldn't do it. And the reason for that is because my brand is worth more than that over the long term. So I might make that money now, but over the next decade, where I'm hopefully still making YouTube videos or doing something, the, 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 uh, the, my brand value is going to be hopefully worth more than that over the years. So it would be far too short-sighted to be like, hey, buy Camel cigarettes or just, you know, I have a lot, and I have a lot of young people watching me. So no, I would never ever do that. And that's super important to maintain your principles and your ethics whenever, uh, doing brand deals and it, honestly just talk it, you know you don't even have to uh, use the product just as long as you like it and as long as you do that you'll maintain your uh, yeah yeah exactly hi um, yeah um, so for the first five years actually I was a one-man show which got very, very difficult. When I first started, uh, and I didn't have companies constantly calling me to fly different places like South Africa to be in freaking, uh, you know, the movie, uh, it was easy because I had more free time. Now, because so much of my time is used up off of YouTube, that I needed a team. So about six months ago, I got a couple close friends to start helping me. So I have one friend named Jimmy that does all the research for me. He sends it to me and then I put my spin on it, the kind of the Matthew Santoro touch, kind of the comedy and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, and then I have my friend Brock who edits for me. Uh, and he actually does things that I could never do. So uh, that was the hardest thing for me was giving up the control of the editing because the, every video I put out was kind of like my baby. Like I always, I want it to be like the best and I want everyone to enjoy it. But Giving that up was difficult, but it ended up being the best thing because he actually increased the quality of my videos as well as the quantity and freed up a lot more of my time so I could do more stuff like this and travel. And you know, I've been on 40 plane rides this year. So that's a lot of plane rides for someone that doesn't work you know, for like an airline stewardess or something for an air <laughs> airport. Uh, so you know, I, uh, I'm glad that I have that free time, free time now to, to do that. Hey. Hey. What's up? Um, I was just wondering uh, how long do you have to talk about the sponsors, like on that Cosmo video you had, um, you have to fill a certain amount of time yep. talking about the product. Yep, so every sponsor is different, uh, every brand integration is different. Um, the longer it is, the more money it is, generally speaking, it's a, most of them are around 30 seconds. Sometimes it's uh, 15 seconds, but it's half as much money. And really you get your point across after about the 30 second mark. So um, most Audible ads are 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, you just you put it at the end of the video and everybody ends up winning. You know, there's a, there's a link, at, you know, I put above the fold a link, you know, go to audible.com slash Matthew and that lets them know people are signing up for me and everybody wins. Um, but yeah, it, it varies for everybody. Uh, but for the most part, it's 30 seconds. Hi. Hi. How much control do you have over what YouTube uh, advertises on your channel? What ads they run on my channel? Yes. None. So I, they like they, they have a screening process, so they don't like I'm never going to see something weird on there. Uh, hopefully, although I have seen a lot of hair care product. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, which I, I I feel like they're poking fun at me sometimes for that. Uh, but yeah, uh, I have no control over it. And sometimes it gets weird like that, but for the most part, it's just whatever they want to run. And it's an auction-based system, so whoever pays the most amount of money gets the space, and that's it. And that's 
The only thing I have control over is the brand integrations. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Good question. Um, so when I started, okay, so to put it into perspective, when I started getting two, around 2 million views a month is when I matched how much I was making as a full-time accountant. Yeah, I get 25 million views a month now. Just let you know. <laughs> There's money to be made on YouTube, let's put it that way. Oh, wait a minute. He needs a... So who's the mic? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to go you first, then you. Are you on Decimal? And would you ever transfer from like now to like daily vlogging? I do daily vlogging. I can show you. I, so uh, there's a two-part question. Uh, are you on Vessel and do you daily vlog? Uh, no and yes. Vessel, for those of you that don't know, is a competitor to YouTube. I use that term loosely because essentially what happened was a bunch of billionaires got together and said, let's take viewership away from YouTube. Let's create our own YouTube. So they created something called Vessel. And what they did was they dumped hundreds of millions of dollars into this website. And what they did was went to individual, the top creators on YouTube and said, if you start uploading on YouTube, Three day, all you have to do is uh, upload on YouTube three days before you, uh, sorry, upload on Vessel three days before you upload on YouTube, and we're going to give you half a million dollars, or we're going to give you a million dollars. And they just dumped a crap ton of money. Like, who knows Rhett and Link? Okay, so good friends of mine. They're on Vessel. Don't blame them. They got paid a lot of money to be on there. But I don't believe in Vessel, number one, because no one says I'm a Vessler. I'm a YouTuber. You know, we all are. Uh, no one's proud to be on Vessel, even though they get paid by them. I don't think that the platform's going to last. I think that they are lacking the fundamentals of what made YouTube YouTube. That goes back to authenticity. There's no community there. There's nothing there. That matters. There's no comment system. There's no, no one's proud to be on the platform. I'm proud to be on YouTube. I've been doing it for five and a half years. And people say, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. They're proud of that. Nobody says they're a Vessler. So uh, I think Vessel's just going to, it's not going to, it's going to disappear real quick. Uh, but hey, we're happy to take their money. I'll tell you that. Um, the other thing is, yes, I do daily vlog. I have a second daily channel. Vlog. Shut up. <laughs> I, have, I have a second channel, Matthew Santoro Vlogs, and um, it's me talking. <laughs> it's me talking. You're probably wondering what that is. You want to watch that? Uh, so these are all unboxings, and I don't want to put you through another ad, but. Uh, these are, I'm okay, don't worry, that was not. Um, these are all unboxing videos. Uh, these are some examples of me just sharing my thoughts. Like, for example, uh, why mental health is important. I uh, covered the, the Paris terrorist attacks. Uh, why, back to why I started vlogging. Kind of revamped my style. I talked a little bit about why it's lonely being a YouTuber. That's a good one, you should watch that. Uh, but yeah, so I do have a second channel that has 657,000 subscribers. And I do have a gaming channel. I fought this tooth and nail, but I decided that, because <laughs> it's such a saturated market, but I am involved in the gaming space now. I haven't uploaded a single video. That channel has 70,000 subscribers. I don't know how. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> it's, waiting, it's waiting for views. There's nothing on it. Um, <laughs> see, look, no, hey, but there will be. Um, but anyway, so uh, that's, that's a long-winded way of answering your question. So I think it's kind of related to my question. Are you asking, do, you, do I think I'm going to get there? Yeah. Well, first of all, he has 40 million. 40 million? Yeah, which is insane. Uh, secondly, do I ever think I'll get there? I don't know. I don't even think PewDiePie ever anticipated that he would get there. The thing with YouTube is they're always changing their algorithm. So they're always, whenever there's an algorithm change, who they promote in like the sidebar. See, OK, well, that's a bad example. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to, <laughs> hey. Uh, so for example, YouTube has decided these people are worthy of promotion because they are partly related to me in some way, the algorithm figures, and their views are on the rise. So that's how that happens. If there's an algorithm change, I'm actually shocked that PewDiePie is in there because usually PewDiePie is in everybody. That, that's why he maintains his lead because it's kind of a, um, a self-oiling machine. It's like he gets 300, by the way, he gets like 350 million views. 
Remember when I said you can make a living? I got the same at 2 million views a month as a full-time accountant. He gets 350 million views a month. Guy's making a million bucks a month. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, he, so, uh, and, that, and that's without brand integrations. That's without brand integrations. Uh, so obviously, you know, there's a lot of money to be made, but uh, <laughs> some, of you, some of you are shocked by that. You had no idea. You had no idea. Those, those Minecraft videos that you watch were making big money for him. Um, but yeah, uh, where are we going with that? What was your... Oh, do I ever think I'll get there? I don't, I don't know if I'll ever get there. I mean, to be honest, I never... Like, I started this truthfully being like, yeah, like, I hope I'm famous one day. I don't look at myself as famous at all. Uh, but I do have a bit of an audience. But I always wanted this. Like, I aimed for this. This didn't happen by accident. Um, and I built my business off authenticity, like I said. But... When I do something, I do it because I enjoy it. I enjoy YouTube videos. It just so happens that making them is how I make my living now. I would still be, yeah, I would still be doing them right now, even if I was still an accountant working in a cubicle. Um, so the gaming channel, eh, maybe it'll take off, maybe not, but it's something I want to try. I might not continue it. I started a podcast last night. Uh, no idea where that's going to go. Don't really care. It's just something fun that I can do and something new. It's always good to try new things. That's why I'm, I want to branch out into movies and TV and do things like that because it just keeps it fresh. You don't want to do the same thing too much over and over, you know what I mean? So. Hi, Matthew. Hi. Uh, okay, my question is uh, how much it takes to start with a new channel or something? How much it takes to start? Yeah. Uh, are you talking about equipment and money? No, I'm not asking for the making. Okay, are you asking like um, like how many videos I was making or how like in terms of investing in what? Like, uh, like you left the accounting thing. Yeah, like, yeah. You, and you decided to start with a new thing like a YouTuber or uh -huh. something. And when you started, at that point of time, what, you, uh, what was your initial investment? Like, Kind of okay, yeah, perfect. So what I invested, uh, other than time obviously, was I didn't have a very fancy setup. Like when I first started, I had a Sony Handycam. It was like a $600 camera, and I knew nothing about anything. I didn't know what color correction was, white balance, nothing. If you look at my original videos, <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna go. <laughs> if you look at my original videos, hey! If you look at my original videos, uh, you'll see, okay, so keep in mind, oh, there's going to be an ad. Sorry. It's Google. Um, so after this ad plays, uh, this is a video, my very first video I uploaded on May 13th, 2010. Now you saw the quality of my current videos. Wait till you see this. This is me, like crappy camera, basic editing skills, like I knew nothing. Uh, my, the, the color's very orange. I look very young. <laughs> Let's just get ready. I'm still wearing my, my I, <laughs> I'm still wearing my shirt. I got home from account, my accounting job that day. I was like, I'm just gonna start. <laughs> just watch a bit. It's just. Just terrible. Anyway, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh my God. We've got time for about one more question. <laughs> oh God, that was terrible. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, just to give you an idea of how I started, man. Uh, honestly, like I, I will work with anybody as long as I see that they're dedicated and that they actually have a passion for it. If you have no videos on your channel, it, you know, it, that, that's kind of what I'm looking for. So, do you have Twitter? Yeah. Okay, tweet me. I'll check out your stuff. All right. Last question, I guess. Yeah. 
Hi. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, the ads that you're showing on your channel right now, you can't click off on them. You have to watch the whole thing. There's three. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Well, because well, a lot of the ones I watch, you can, you, like, it's like a pop-up. And yeah. It, says, it counts down, and it says skip this ad. So do you make more money off of the ones that you can't click on? Off of what you just saw. Off of what you yeah. just saw. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, so there's three types of ads. There's, uh, shoot, I think it's called True View. I forget the proper names for them, but they're the non-skippable ones, which are 30 seconds. There's the skippable ones that are like five minutes. Those are the ones that YouTube hopes you're just letting the playlist play in the background. That's like that'd be big money if that played. Uh, and then there is uh, the little pop-ups. And there's something called a CPM. So. The way that CPM, CPM means cost per thousand views. M in Roman numerals is thousand, I believe. So that's why it's CPM. So for every thousand views, if the CPM is $10, then for every thousand views, I make $10. If the CPM is $10 uh, and somebody clicks an ad, that's the same as a thousand views. So that's why someone clicking an ad is very valuable to YouTubers, because that's the equivalent of a thousand views. Um, CPMs fluctuate a lot. That's why when you ask a YouTuber, how much do you make? It, it always varies. Like No YouTuber makes the same amount of money, especially depending on the time of year. In January, company spending goes, <laughs> it just disappears. Uh, closer to December, it goes higher, higher, higher. December's the highest. So when December hits, we make bank. In, in January, we're hurting. It's, like, it's literally one third the income. Um, so that's why you'll see a lot of YouTubers just uploading videos like crazy in December. Because the CPM could be as high as like $20. It's insane, like $30. Like that's really high. In January, it could be two bucks. Oh my God. Yeah. So that's why, as a YouTuber, it's really important that you save your money. Because next month, <laughs> you might not be, unless you have a lot of brand deals, you might not be, you know, paying rent. Can you, can you make money like right off the very first ad that runs and somebody? Make one, if I were to make one video and hook up to the ads, I would get money like right off. Yeah, yep. So the, the way that it works is anyone here, by the way, like anyone here could do this, just so you know. Like this isn't like some elite Illuminati club. Like any, anyone, anyone, here, anyone here could do this. Uh, like how many people have a YouTube channel? Is any, are anyone YouTubers? Like does anyone actually make videos here? Oh, really? Cool. I'll check out your channel after. Um, yeah, so the way that it works is you make what's called an AdSense account. That AdSense account is where all the money accumulates from all the ads on your YouTube videos. You link it to your YouTube channel, and at the end of the month, if the threshold hits a, a threshold is $100, if it hits a minimum of $100, it gets deposited to your bank account. It's really easy. You just link it to your bank account. That's it. You can make, you can make your living off doing that. There, and there's people, like, don't think that you have to make like, high quality productions. One of the top paid people on YouTube, I forget her name, but you've probably heard about her. She's a lady that unboxes Disney toys. No, I'm not kidding. All she does is put the camera on her hands. She has like a Brazilian accent. And she's like, OK, today we're opening these. Uh, uh. I'm sorry, that's probably a terrible accent. But we're, we're, and she's very soft spoken. And you know, oh, Disney princess, beautiful. Hundreds of millions of views. Hundreds of, mi like PewDiePie views. She opens toys. So I don't. I, Oh, am I good? Oh, I got to cut it off. Uh, anyway, so anyway, <laughs> that's all I have to say. Uh, no, that's awesome. Man. Is that good? Okay. Yeah.